Yo, 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 guys. Um, if you're wondering what that sound is, it's the um, Sleigh Bells theme. But we feel, I feel like we just hit Christmas because, guys, we finally made it to E3 2019 from June 11th to June 13th, Los Angeles. Um, E3 briefing, and we have so much stuff, guys. We have a lot of good things that's going to be happening. Um, Bethesda Game Studios is definitely confirmed in this. Um, a lot of their games, I mean, they haven't been great in the past, but you know, whatever. And then we got um, Xbox, of course, hosting it. It's a, uh, it's a uh, Xbox, um, I guess, hosting with Microsoft Studios. Um, and yeah, so it, 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 there's a lot of interesting things going on here, guys. I'm really excited to talk about it, especially Ubisoft or Ubisoft, Ubisoft, whatever. But yeah, so anyways, like I was saying, there's a lot of cool stuff like Nintendo. Nintendo has some new games that are coming out this year, which I'm really excited to show off with, uh, with you guys this year. And of course, this is only Xbox briefing. This is no other console, which means, uh, sad to say, but... Um, Arkham 2019 is silent, and I'll go deeply with the Arkham games and Batman games, so forth and so on, in, the, in another video. But it's definitely not announced, as you see on the screen. But yeah, guys, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys a little clip of what we got so far of the briefing. This may not be uploaded until like. This is the Xbox E3 2019 briefing. So as we can see from that, that looks actually pretty cool. There's a lot of cool games and stuff like that. And as you can see, the music has changed because of the mood. We see, uh, I see a lot of Halo, I think, pretty sure. I don't know what that game is, but I see um, Gears 4, Gears, Gears of War, I mean. Minecraft, there's a new game called Minecraft Dungeons also coming out, which I'm pretty excited about. We got, um, we got quite a bit of stuff. I mean, a lot of these games I really do not recognize, but it just looks so interesting. And I mean, just E3 this year is changing a lot of things and stuff like that. And a lot of new games, they're adding uh, Xbox Game Pass to PC, which is actually pretty cool. And uh, yeah, if you're wondering what game this is, this is Recourse, only for Xbox One. But um, yeah, it's. I think it's one of the E3 games for one year. I, I don't know which one. But yeah, yeah. Um, for starters, let's go into this game. This game is Wolf Stand, whatever it's called. And I gotta say that graphics look interesting. Well, this is Rise of the Tomb Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider. I, I believe it's part of. Uh, it's uh, based off of this one movie called um, Tomb Raider, basically, with uh, with Tomb Raider and stuff like that. But anyways, you know what that, not my stupidness, but yeah guys, so, um, it looks pretty interesting, and I hope this year they're changing a lot of how the games are developed, because last year and the year before that, the games were, uh, they weren't as good as we hoped. A lot of the times, people, um, or the, uh, game creators or developers or something like that, or E3 and the sellers, they overhype these games, come out with these new cinematic trailers, and a lot of the time, these games are not good, which I'm hoping that this year, they're actually pretty good which I don't doubt they will be but there's some games I'm a little bit skeptical about and there's others like Halo for instance Halo. a lot of the time the Halo has pa Halo has passed 
um, for a pretty decent game, but yet again, having problems and issues. The storyline did a lot of the time didn't make sense. Halo Reach was a pretty good game. Halo 5 Guardians was a disappointment, mainly. And, uh, and all they do is good graphics, the DLC sucked, and a lot of the fans, of course, want more, like with Bethesda Game Studios. A lot of the time, Bethesda Game Studios trick people and stuff like that. They, not necessarily purposefully, or maybe they do, they trick people into paying these hundreds of dollars for these games and come, come to find out that they're not even good. Like Mortal Kombat 11. Mortal Kombat 11 is necessarily good. Um, that's why like it's so much money, which makes sense. It's because it's an actual good game. And, uh, and a lot of the time in E3, um, they over-exaggerate these games when they're really not good. So I, I don't want to be disappointed by any of them. But yeah, so I just want to say, in this trailer you see right here, this is uh, this is Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2, no, Borderlands, uh, sequel to Borderlands 2, this is Borderlands 3. Borderlands 3 looks pretty cool. Never played Borderlands 2, I'm trying to get that on Xbox One. Uh, it's on sale for now because of the E3. But yet again, this looks pretty good. And a lot of the time, E3 overhypes their games. It costs like thousands, you know, over exaggeration. But it costs like lots of money and it doesn't make sense when it's not even that good but i'm excited for borderlands because i mean i was interested in the borderlands series recently and i think it might be an interesting step up now again i've never let, played the first borderlands i've seen gameplay on youtube i gotta say it looks pretty okay um the gameplay isn't the best sorry if you heard that. i'm just adjusting my mic but the game the play isn't the best and uh it's 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 I mean, it's decent. It's decent. So I don't want you guys to get overhyped over these games. I'm not trying to dehype them, but I am trying to uh, get you guys to see certain things. Now, for instance, E3, they announced Avengers trailer for Xbox One, Squarko Inc. Uh, I forgot to add that in the editing. I might. No, I can't do that. I'm, I'm too late. I'm doing the voiceover after all this editing. But anyways, yeah. So this is. Uh, the new Avengers uh, game for Xbox One. This will be for an Xbox game. And um, I don't think it's gonna be for PS4. I mean, they already have PS4 Spider-Man games. I gotta say, the graphics look pretty choppy. They're not terrible, but they're not good as well. Especially, this is a cinematic trailer. And uh, the graphics don't look as good as it's like what you see in gameplay. So I don't know, but yeah, this Avengers universe that they're showing right here is supposed to be taking place in a universe where Captain where the world's gone berserk and stuff like that. And I got this a lot of this information from this guy called Salvage. You can subscribe to his channel. I'll put his channel in the description below. Yeah, so again, I'm not sure what they're gonna be doing with this game. I'm not gonna get too overhyped about this game, but you know, what can you do? I mean, it, uh, it seems like it could be an interesting story, but again, I'm not exactly sure what they're gonna do uh, with the game, so. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um, I'm still planning on some things, um, like what games I want to try, and I might be doing like, like making these kind of videos, doing like background talks and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, guys. So anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the drop like down below if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more content. All links will be in the description below. I will be making more videos, more videos that are editing, and uh, and yeah, guys. So anyway, guys, I'm here.